This is Johnny Mealy, volleyball coach here in Salt Lake City. I'm going to talk to you about how to dive for a volleyball. For a defensive player, it's important to be low in the ready position that we talked about for passing. Weight on your toes, ready to move forward. When a player sees that the ball is out of reach so that they can't pass it with their platform, and they decide to dive for a ball, defensive player will take a big step with their right foot, making sure that they stay low to the ground with their body. We don't want to dive really high, otherwise that's going to hurt our hips or wherever we land it may hurt our body. So we want to stay low to the ground, as close to the ball as we can because the ball is going to be low. Make sure that that first step is big. So the player's diving for the ball, they're going to turn their, uh, their right knee out so that they don't bang it on the ground. They dive for the ball, catch themselves, and sprawl through. So if a player is diving for a ball, it should look a little bit like this. There's another way to dive for a volleyball. A lot of times we uh, refer to it as a pancake dive. This is where a player will keep their hand out the whole time, and instead of catching themselves with both hands and diving through, they'll keep one of their hands out to try to pancake the volleyball. It's important for the defensive player to keep their hand flat against the ground, uh, against the hard surface, so that the ball pancakes hard off the hand. Again, a defensive player wants to take a big step with their right foot, turn that knee out. They're going to cash themselves with their left foot, and they're going to sprawl through. They're going to pancake through with their right hand, make a pancake. This is Johnny Mealy, volleyball coach here in Salt Lake City, talking to you about how to dive for a volleyball.